If you've created WordPress websites before, you know there are parts of a site that you just can't change without code. I'm talking about your header, footer, single post, and archive. And screaming at your developer probably won't help either. I'm excited to introduce Elementor Pro 2.0 Theme Builder. In Elementor Pro 2.0, we expanded the overall concept of templates by adding new template types, headers, footers, single posts, and archives. Let's begin by creating a header. Under Elementor, My Templates, click on Add New, Header. Look how cool. Choose a pre-designed block for your header or build it from scratch. Here you see the Elementor editor that you know and love opened in the exact same place of the header area. We'll make a few design changes so you get the idea. Lightning fast, right? The new header is already done. All that's left to do is to implement the revised header on your site. How do you do it? Hit Publish and a Conditions window opens. Here choose where the header will be shown. Across the site, only in a specific category, or excluding a particular page, any condition you might need. Here's our old header. Refresh the page, and the newly created header appears. Creating a footer, also a piece of cake. It's the same process. Add a new template, select the footer type, a list of blocks opens, and choose a footer block. Now it's all about customizing the design, setting the conditions, and publishing it. There you go. We built a brand new header and footer for our site. Next up, Designing our blog. Unlike static pages, like the home page or about that only have static content, the blog has dynamic content, spread across however many blog posts you have. When adding a new blog post, its content dynamically fills a certain design framework. And this is exactly what we can now build with Elementor. So add a new template, type single, Choose a block, or start from scratch. A single post is made up of dynamic widgets. Post title, post content, featured image, metadata, and so on. These widgets are in the panel under Theme Elements. When you're working on dynamic content, like single posts, you'll want to see how it looks on different posts. So click the preview icon, hit Settings, and here under Preview Dynamic Content As, choose the source of the content, and then preview your dynamic content to see how the design looks. Play around and edit the single post however you want. When you're happy with the results, pick your conditions and publish. Now we can see our live blog with the new blog post design. What's neat about this feature is that you can create several single post templates and attribute each of them to a certain category or any other taxonomy. On to creating an archive page. Archive is the page that shows a chosen assortment of posts. It can be used as your main blog page, as a main category, other taxonomy pages, or as a search results page. Let's add a template. Type archive. Choose a block. And here, customize the archive posts widget. Publish. And set it to apply across the entire site. We successfully customized our header, footer, blog page, and blog posts without any roadblocks of coding. As you've seen, the Elementor Theme Builder significantly expands your reach, setting you free to design any part of your site. Join the design revolution and explore Elementor Pro 2.0 today. Transform your website vision to reality.